This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. This is Central Texas Life with Ann Harder. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Central Texas Life. This is a lively bunch today. As you can see, we have a fabulous set. We have a cosmic cowgirl roping the moon. <laughs> and the inspiration behind this wonderful character is sitting right here on the couch, Harper Schreiner, her mom, Tiffany, mm -hmm. who wrote the book, mm -hmm. and uh, Cheryl Russell, who is an artist who has helped to illustrate this book. We're going to start off talking about this amazing book, but there's lots of stuff going on in your life. Where do you when want to start, Anne? To that, <laughs> where do we start? Yeah. Well, if start? we can go back to the beginning. We, I first met you through my favorite place on earth, mm -hmm. Salado, Texas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Peaceable of course, Kingdom, really. And is really, how it was met. honestly, it was the Peaceable Kingdom retreat for children. Mm -hmm. uh, your grandfather, Jim Bomer, mm -hmm. established this wonderful place for kids who have health issues, a place for them to go and just be kids. And that was because your brother, mm -hmm. Charles, mm -hmm. at a very tender age of 11 months, passed away. He did, of a congenital heart failure. And um, had he been born about four or five years later, they would have had the technology to save him. But, you know, um, you make me cry every time I'm here. Um, every time I talk to, about him, I get yeah. teary-eyed, you know, especially with you all because you know the history. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, because of his brave and courageous uh, short life, he was born on January 17th and died the following January 2nd. Actually, on my mother's birthday, he passed. Mm. Um, Mary Helen Schreiner is my mama. And uh, Jim DeWitt Bomer, my grandfather. Darius Bomer, my grandmother. Um, they all started Peaceable Kingdom in his honor and uh, to commemorate the legacy of the bravest little boy we ever knew. Yeah. Yeah. And, and what an amazing legacy. Uh -huh. Now, it is, um, uh, well, uh, thousands of children have benefited Tens from this thousands. beautiful property that he had there on the river mm -hmm. and, and we launched it in um 84 yeah so it's it's got a, a, an amazing history an amazing track record um lots of of honoring of your brother in mm -hmm. fact after we tape this Baby you're Charlie. heading to tell yeah you're you're uh, heading to dallas for some Yes, some lots of fun with Variety Texas Peaceable Kingdom. Um, it's our golf and gala, our annual golf and gala that we hold in Dallas. And people always ask me, why is it in Dallas when Peaceable Kingdom's in Bell County? <laughs> yeah. And the answer is uh, Cinemark Theaters is our number one supporter financially and um, in many ways otherwise as well. Mm -hmm. um, and their hub is in Plano. And so we hold our golf and gala uh, with them um, uh, in the DFW area every year. So this year it's uh, at, in Dallas um, at the um, Addison Renaissance, I believe. But before that, we always make a pit stop at the Wyo Ranch Steakhouse in Dallas. <laughs> and it happens oh, to know. be only 15 minutes from this year's uh, mm -hmm. golf and gala. So we're going to mosey on over and have the best bison steak there is. You have told me about that steakhouse, <laughs> but you and pro promised to take me there at some point. So it's I so good, and I want to take any time you're in Dallas. I would oh, love yeah. to. We all need to go. We, oh, we definitely need to go. Well, I want to talk, though about the book the book launch is uh Certainly. planning let me grab it yeah there it let is me grab her. Mm -hmm. our little baby our baby right <laughs> <laughs> the legend of the cosmic cowgirl right. and and as, as i see harper you're the inspiration <laughs> for this yes, and this started when you were a youngster yeah and here you are now almost grown up <laughs> a big high school student yes, at uh, salado high school so tell me what is it like to have a have a book written about yourself it's crazy um I love that I get to be the inspiration for my mama, who's so, so brave in everything that she does. And it's amazing to just be a part of this book because of how amazing it is. It's really great. Well, it's 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 fun. It's a fun read, but oh, yeah. it, it's inspiring to young ladies. Mm -hmm. Well, it's certainly a tale of resi really resilience. You know, Cheryl and I, Cheryl Russell, um, queen of art of Salado, Bell <laughs> County, Texas, in my heart, um, is turning 80 years old tomorrow. <laughs> and um, we get to celebrate her um, very soon. She is the, you know, we listed her as the creative director on this project, but she's so much more than that. Um, you know, Cheryl and I had this dream um, many years ago to start an arts academy for children, which we launched, and it's, it, it, we mention it at the back of the book, um, called the Imagineer Arts Academy. Um, and, you know, 
we it, it, we've, we've kind of evolved now. We're, we're more than just an academy. We're a whole frontier, Anne. So it's <laughs> the it's the an entire frontier. So it's the Imagineer Frontier Arts Co. And there's a lot of information about how you can find more about us in the book um, through our Cosmic Cowgirl book page on Instagram and so much more. Um, but from the Imagineers, um, you know, our, our, our projects with the Imagineers um, in Salado and and across Texas, we have uh, we've launched a book and we have. Um, partnered with the Texas Rangers, but before I go into Texas Rangers, I just want to say the book actually began um, when Salado had its great flood back in about 09, 10, mm-hmm. 11, somewhere there. Oh, I there. remember reporting and, on that. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. I need to get the exact oh, yeah. year because people ask me this all the time. Ever since COVID, my time, sense of time is a little off. Um, <laughs> and we went into a warp or a per- portal um, yeah. with COVID, but <laughs> um, I'm not sure if we're out of it yet, uh, to be honest, but um, I sure hope so. Um, but during that flood, we lost all power to our house, and I had this precious little baby girl who was, if nothing else, imaginative and creative, Anne. I wonder where I, that came from. I mean, projects <laughs> abounded in every nook and cranny of our lives, but we had no power for several days. Oh. And, you know, she's not climbing the walls, but certainly eager to create. And so I lit candles all over the house, and she started playing with the beautiful colors of candle wax, and we oh. started the book. Yeah, that's how it started. That's huh? how it started, and it's it's tales of you know it's it's one book, but we have we have already you know five or six more books coming Good. with a workbook. Um, this is just sort of the the I guess um, the little bit of beckoning of what's to come. <laughs> well, Cheryl, I want to talk to you a little bit about the the creative part of of bringing this character to life. How, how did you well, go about imagining? Tiffany and I talked a lot, and let me just say, I just kind of met Tiffany by accident through another She likes friend. to claim it was an ab- accident. I call <laughs> I it a serendipitous well, storm fate, of, yes. At any rate, I knew about Peace of a Kingdom because of a friend that was a mutual friend whose brother needed to have the advantages of Peace of a Kingdom. So I knew about it when I was in Arlington, oh, wow. and my husband and yeah. I were helping to start a private school and Granger who is a character in our book his brother Gregor was born with some very sad situations mm-hmm. in his life and he started coming to Peaceable Kingdom so I drove down here one time with Gregor's mother and we're talking about it and talking we had no idea the connection and then all of these people kind of from your past just kind of filtered down and we just started talking, and let me just say, our camps were such an amazing combination of the skills of really five or ten very key people. And we started always just chatting about what would be the perfect environment for a child. How could we help children and their families to kind of nurture their own creativity? Because Tiffany and I believe so strongly that creativity is one of the things that they sort of ream out of you. Like, you yeah. know, here, here you are. A big How can cat. we kill it? <laughs> How can we kill it? How can yeah. we stop it? Yeah, we stifle. don't want to even see or hear yeah. it. So that was exactly the opposite of our <laughs> philosophy. We thought, you know, and we had these loosey-goosey camps that we <laughs> had. I don't know I that mean, I'd call them that. Maybe... Well, Maybe, yeah, confetti, chaos. Um. <laughs> Freewheeling. <laughs> I'm sorry I said yeah, yeah. goosey-goosey, but let me just say. But, but let chil- just letting craziest. children be creative and let their own imaginations sure. kind and of. Live. We gave them the Offered seeds them and let them run with that, it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You know, so we offered them things that they had never even been able to touch, like an iron or a sewing machine. Oh, or a yeah. Pair of scissors with a sharp point. Or, yeah. or a branding iron but covered in paint instead of fire. Yes, yeah. Well, okay. we had, I mean, just all kinds of crazy things. And then we started making these little stories. And then as the stories developed, we made the sets, we made the costumes, we made the whole thing and these kids adopted this idea they got to see they were able to see their imaginations come to life Mm -hmm. we just helped them a little bit and that's got to be so rewarding for you to to see this it is but i also feel like even though we've been at this cheryl how many years since 2008 yeah Yeah. it's been a while Um, (laughs) she was born in 2007 so um so really from the second i knew she was on her way when she when i knew she was on her way 
I didn't know she, if she was a boy or a girl yet. If she was a boy, she would have been named after my little brother, baby Charlie. Yeah. Um, but if she was a girl, I still kind of wanted to name her Charlie. And then because of Harper Lee and my love of Harper yeah. Lee's work. and my I wondered if that was the inspiration for your name. It was, she was a Harper. And the word Harper means musical. I yeah. knew she had a musical soul. But I... I made a, a MySpace page. This is before Facebook. <laughs> before, uh, yeah, that's the dinosaur I am, folks. Um, the oil of Olay is kind of working, maybe, but not really. Um, but you know, you know, I made a my so I made a MySpace page, and I called because everybody wanted to know about our baby shower. People from all over the state. Yeah. She was the first grandbaby being born into this, you know, family and oh, yeah. ranch and peaceful looking. So I was like, I'm making a MySpace page, y'all. I cannot keep up. So. Um, before we, we even knew if she was going to be a boy or a girl, I called it my baby compadre. Mm -hmm. And then from there, it became my cosmic compadre. And cosmic. then when she was born, my cosmic cowgirl. Okay. So so, so she, you've always <laughs> been that, that inspiration. You were nodding your head though, when Cheryl <laughs> was talking about children, you know, kind of coming to life in yeah. this. What I, and you obviously were, <laughs> were a beneficiary of this. I what was, was that like for you? It was amazing. I mean, that's where my love of acting stemmed from completely. Um, we grew up getting to make these silent films that evolved into just creativity overflowing from every facet. And I just, I got to be a kid over and over each summer, even though I'm growing up. You still. were growing up, yeah. yeah. And now that I get to be a counselor there, just helping out, I still get to relive that over and over and over. It's just a magical place. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, our, our website, um, if you go to our Instagram page, at Cosmic Cowgirl Book, it has all of our websites. So if you click on the actual the actual website, there's three sites there. Um, it has a video link, and it ha this it's so sweet. It, this sort of happened impromptu over this last Christmas break. It has sweet little interview nuggets from all of our campers over the years. <laughs> oh, it's oh wonderful. my gosh! We, and I we will just, have a link on the post here, I think, to that it, video, so you can go and check that out. I can't I can't watch it unless I'm, so I, I need an hour yeah. to cry afterwards because <laughs> yeah. they're no, so they're very good. sweet. Those very babies, good. and you know, I mean, they've given. I know this is so cliche, but it is so dang true in this regard. And with this project and all that we've, you know, been doing over the last few years, um, they, they have given, these two people and all of our Imagineers have given us so much more than we could have ever given them. And again, I know it sounds cliche, but it is so true. It is, it is what has kept me going in my darkest hours, and I've had long COVID, and I've also been in a fight that, you know, little know about in terms of protecting children and whatnot, but like, they're resilient souls have kept me going mm -hmm. because if I can't fight for myself I sure as heck can fight for the light for them right every day right. at Peaceable Kingdom in Salado Shriner University Texas Rangers Ann Harder's grandparent camp grandma camp whatever we're doing <laughs> whatever right. we're doing it's for the kids <laughs> we're fighting for the light oh oh we are and so uh, I want to talk right now a little bit about your fantastic lineage i mean uh, there's a wonderful article in the the salado newspaper has been has a wonderful article starting out talking about the book and um the three of you yes are tim, in tim and marilyn fleischer are the angels of salado they and are. they're not just angels but they're warrior angels for salado <laughs> yeah and um you know salado is a wonder is a wonderful place um there are very different thoughts about the growth and where it's going right and marilyn and tim have been such just graceful guardians of the town that we have loved and nurtured for i mean heck you've been there since 90 what 91 yeah right yeah and you you moved to Salado. and i've yeah. been there since 89 yeah well i left for college and came back but you know yeah, we I, I came as a literally i had to leave my house because it was being sold i had mm -hmm. no place to go yeah and we drove to salado and stopped and the rest is history. <laughs> yeah. I, I understand. I, 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 there was I a goat farm and a fire involved. I know that much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just the craziest things you can imagine. Yeah. And I went back to college, and I became the director of university relations at Mary Harden Baylor. Oh, and wow. I knew nothing Perfect about place. the area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, you know, what's the difference between Colleen and Temple? Well, after a <laughs> while, maybe one day, <laughs> yeah. you saw the difference, and you saw the promise of Salado. And, and with Bain's House and all that you created at Bain's House Bed and Breakfast there on Royal, I mean, it, it was it was the 
art mecca of imagination. Well, and, and, and it is today. It's a, quite an ar- artist enclave, Salado is. So yes, yeah, it is. Salado is. It's Perfect. a wonderful mm-hmm. environment. And let me just <coughs> say that there, Salado was a community of people who chose to come there. And because they chose to come there, they came with such integrity and enthusiasm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it just seemed like every kind of crazy idea blossomed. (laughs) Well, and we were on the cusp, uh, you know, coming out of, well, economic downturn in 08, and I-35 expansion. Salado really was on the It's kind of like a forest fire. I call it a forest fire. It's like a metaphorical forest fire. And then then we've had the changing of the guard at Stagecoach. I work for Stagecoach. I'm uh, the director of um, historical events there, um, special events that are rooted in history and uh, unique flair, southern flair. Um, and, you know, with my ranching heritage, just I can't help it. It's in my blood to love Texas. Um, <laughs> you know, whether <laughs> if that – even if it means, like, against all odds and it's probably self-defeating, I'm still going to go fight for Texas roots and history um, in the name of, of just the beautiful traditions that, mm-hmm. that are steeped in, in ranching and, and hotel hospitality and the Chisholm Trail and all that across three centuries. So, I, you know, I want that to be available to my children's imagination, minds, hearts, and souls. Um, I just feel like it's so important and yeah. and if nothing else we're creating avenues and space and events for community and family and light and love and what's better yeah where's a good place for folks to get up to date on all these events you do have a lot of yes things coming. At, at cosmic cowgirl book on Instagram is okay. the best place right now um, they can also follow me Tiffany Schreiner um, on Facebook um, but that's the best place is our Instagram mm-hmm. page mm-hmm. for the book because I'm putting all the links there. Instagram does a great job at compiling it all for you and making it very succinct. Mm-hmm. So yeah. you just click on the link there. Yeah. We're going to take yeah. a quick break. And when we come back, I want to talk a little bit more about your heritage, which is so awesome and impressive. Your ancestors founded Kerrville. I mean, a lot to I had it. nothing to do with that, Anne. Well, yeah, <laughs> I was well, just born. <laughs> well, I, well, you know, but that's cool. And I love ancestry. And so when we come back, we're going to learn some more about that and some of these great things coming up. So you stay with us. Hey, y'all, I'm April. Hi, I'm Caroline. And we have a new podcast for you. What's it called, Caroline? Uh, Bloody Happy Hour. It's going to be your new favorite guilty pleasure. We're going to talk about some bloody stuff. Serial killers. True crime. Rape. (laughs) Rapists. Why not join us? We'll have a good time. You literally never know. I don't know what I'm going to (laughs) say. Bloody Happy Hour. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Hey, I'm Blair. And I'm Brittany. And we're the host of By the the Cover Cover Podcast. Podcast. (laughs) We cover everything from mysteries, thrillers, romance, chiclet, and even some smut. Don't forget the smut. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) We're so excited to get this thing going and share this with you guys. We've been talking about this for months, and it's finally, finally happening. Yes. Special shout out to Rogue Media for helping us with this. For sure. For (laughs) sure. You can find us on Instagram at bythecover underscore podcast. You can also find us on Facebook and TikTok, so don't forget to give us a follow on those two also. We are so excited to dive into some of our favorite books and share those with you. We can't wait. Hope you love it. Hi, I'm Christine, and I'm an alcoholic. Here's the deal. Everybody knows somebody that has suffered from the disease of addiction. I want to invite you to listen to Purpose Driven Sobriety, where we have real conversations with real people that have suffered from the disease of addiction and have gone on to thrive. Here, we shine light into the darkness that is addiction. You can find Purpose Driven Sobriety on Facebook or anywhere you get your podcasts. Hey, 
And we are back with Tiffany Schreiner, her daughter Harper, and Cheryl Russell, artist extraordinaire, Queen of Salado, <laughs> and they're the, uh, Queen of Salado. And yeah, and we're talking about she the uh, Legend of the Cosmic Cowgirl book. You want to hold that up, Harper? Mm-hmm. And uh, Harper was the inspiration for this. Mm-hmm. But um, Tiffany, your your roots go very very deep in the state of Texas. And uh, it was in the article that I read in the uh, Salado Village, Village Voice, Voice yes. Village Voice, Salado Village Voice, and and. Through that, I mean, you, you still have great ties to Shriner University. That's right. Your yes. name, yeah. Yes, I've become an ambassador for their um, their Texas Center, um, and um, I'll be there for the centennial of Shriner's, uh, Shriner University's celebration, centennial celebration starting September 15th. They have a big celebration weekend, um, September, sorry, September 15th through the 18th. For the centennial and we'll be there i'll be there as a shriner but we will also be there representing the um children and family outreach arm of the texas rangers historical association and we're working with them and their new director um jody jen here in waco on some really exciting projects right can you talk about some a of little the, bit a little bit i can tell you with children right mm-hmm. good I can tell you that there's going to be a lot more for kiddos uh, through their work and efforts here in Waco and for all of Texas. And I can tell you that Jody Jen is an angel and he believes in giving to kiddos mm-hmm. and making sure that they feel welcome um, and that their hearts and mind are nurtured through the programming there. Um, he hired us to really bring a lot of the Texas Rangers uh, to life and their history from, you know, um, Rangers like Captain ha- Captain Jack Hayes, who was known as a defender of women and children, um, mm-hmm. for whom Hayes County is named. Yep. You know, where Wimberley and San Marcos sure. are. Yeah. Um, and uh, I actually have a son named Charles Hayes after <laughs> that Texas Ranger. Um, and uh, and then there, you know, and then there's the myth and lore and legend and true factual history around the Petticoat Rangers, Anne. And we've written a book about them for children uh, that's coming sometime in the next year and a half or so mm-hmm. and hopefully sooner rather than later um and um y- there's a lot of growth not just outreach pop-up but brick and mortar growth happening mm-hmm. uh for the texas rangers here in waco and um you know let's have jody on sometime and he can tell you what oh i would what, love that yeah i'll yeah. bring him on as, certainly he, as you get closer he's, to some he's of written a events. book t- several books too really he's a historian mm-hmm. um he has a prolific background in texas law enforcement and philanthropy around it yeah he's a he's just he's a gem well the the texas ranger hall of fame in waco is a gem it, it, it truly is, it a, is a treasure for mm-hmm. us here and to to hear that there are plans for even more programming and things for people to become involved with the hall. let me put it this way boy is there ever in harvard <laughs> that's all if i can Tiffany's say involved there's gonna be a lot <laughs> happening and what was happening before i came in now i'm in and it's is happening that's right on so steroids jody now. jen we'll give it over to jody jen the new director <laughs> for the association well th- yeah that, that is awesome um Okay, so and my great great grandfather was a Texas Ranger, exactly. Cap- that, Captain right. Charles Schreiner. So that's how my and then my grandfather Charlie three, Charles Schreiner the third, and there was my dad Charlie four, and then my brother Charlie five, and my boy Charlie six. We're, yeah. we're all the Charlies. Yeah, <laughs> she was almost Charlie six. Um, um, you know, through all of that, uh, just sort of legacy and and tradition and and just steeping in the grit and grace of Texas history, you know, um, I was very much exposed to Texas. Rangers. I mean, I had many who felt like uncles to me, and at my grandfather's funeral of Charlie Three, uh, there were probably over a hundred Texas Rangers who showed up. He himself, mm-hmm. Charlie Three, Captain Charles Schreiner was a Texas Ranger at the age of fourteen. Oh, uh, but he he lied actually and said he was sixteen so he could get in and support his family because his parents had died. Mm-hmm. Um, um, but he and he is he is the man for whom Schreiner University is named, mm. uh, and then the Wyo Ranch, of course, that he founded and I grew up on until I was ten. Um, and we'll be there September, the weekend of September 5th, 15th at the Wyo Ranch, by the way. We can't wait. Yeah. Um, but, you know, because of all of that, like I said, grit and grace and just lore, tall tale and troubadours, I call them, <laughs> all around me. And then real, you know, tri- really you know, the tried and true pioneering spirit of the Texas heart. I just kind of can't help myself. It just comes through me all the time. Um, I'm a very inclusive Texan. Some people don't know that about me, but I need to say that. Um, every creed, color, walk, and you know what? I mean, I am. Sure. Bring them all. Armadillas to the whatever. <laughs> Shalalas, as we call them. Um, you know, I just love them all. And um, I. Well, it is a great state. 
I it mean, is. And, uh, it's it obvious is. The and love we're you working have. with so many Texas-based organizations and historical organizations. And I mean, like I'm throwing an event. We're throwing an event on October 28th, um, the Imagineer Arts Rodeo at Stagecoach, um, which is basically taking over the entire public creek side of Salado next to Barrow while they're doing their Oktoberfest and uh, you know it's the weekend before Halloween mm -hmm. and it's going to be all cosmic cowgirl all cosmic cowboy just celebrating the history of stagecoach and art and our book um, but it's steeped in Texas and this pioneering creative spirit enduring spirit that I feel every Texan has yeah and if you've lived here long enough and you're devoted you might also be able to be a <laughs> you know inductee <laughs> well and uh, you were telling me Gerald that uh, your husband has deep deep Texas roots he, as well he does uh, his family on his mother's side came with Stephen F. Austin wow is that one it, of the 300 yes yeah. one of the 300 and uh, very outstanding people at their time unfortunately his relative was the first person murdered in the Texas colony oh my. and it was just a horrible evidently a horrible experience long ago but they had a uh, ferry that went across the Brazos River mm -hmm. and that you know everyone that came with Stephen F. Austin had money and a career and so they were all chosen to come because they had some level of expertise and so they had run a ferry in their previous uh, lifetime so the point is all of these people who came to Texas came with a purpose mm -hmm. and a very very valuable sense of integrity that really has lived on in the people of Texas and you know I as I said I only became a Texas person by marriage but I love that idea of Texas and you well know, in your case Texas got really lucky <laughs> Well. And, you know, the property we had in, in Salado was the home of George Washington Baines, mm -hmm. who was the Baines actually house. the third president of Baylor mm -hmm. when it was still at Independence. Then he came and s helped to start the university in Salado. So, I mean, this aura of accomplishment and education and nurturing really exists yeah it's it's an amazing it was kind of the, an athens it center is, in a yeah, way yeah I mean, well we're really, the first home to the Salado. first liberal arts college in texas Salado right. is. Salado the ruins college. are still there right mm -hmm. across from the stagecoach uh-huh right right and so much of it is really kind of a small nucleus you don't realize i mean Salado is small mm -hmm. but it's <laughs> within walking growing distance, growing all, yeah it's growing a lot but the point is uh, it's just was so thrilling for me to meet Tiffany and, and Granger, who is just a Granger fabulous Ash. person, Granger Esch, who I knew, as I said, I knew his family. Back he's a, he's a uh, certified clown who used to own the uh, Silver Spur Theater in Salado, the yes. live theater. Mm -hmm. And now he transitioned into caregiver for his brother, but also he is a therapeutic clown extraordinaire at Cook Hospital in Fort Worth. Mm -hmm. So anytime- and His background is actually from New England. Or so he is, oh, our, wow, yeah. he is our Ranger Granger in the book. <laughs> and he yeah. comes to, he'll be at Shriner with us for the Centennial and the Bicentennial for Texas Rangers on stilts wearing fringed, all caps, you bet. <laughs> Chaps. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I, uh, if love and fringe is wrong, we don't want to be right. That's where we <laughs> are on like this. Side. I mean, they're on me. It's oh, on her. Absolutely. It's everywhere. That's well, right. That's, it, we're texting after all. That is a all. Texas thing. If there's something Junk gypsy of boots. flashy and sashy, we mm -hmm. want that. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, Unless it's well, as you see. Yeah. yeah. We, we've yeah. decided no glitter, though. Like actual glitter, because no, it's no. bad for the environment, we've decided. And yeah. Cheryl does not like glitter, which made me really My sad. My husband said. But we love fringe, and we can have sparkle things. We love stars, but he says do not. Stardust is acceptable. Yes. But not glitter. Yeah. But not glitter. <laughs> it hurts all the baby animals. <laughs> well, okay. All right. So I'm going to veer off <laughs> because another, you know, wonderful event that we were involved with uh, for many years was at Serena Fest. Yes. Of course, the legend mm -hmm. of Serena, mm -hmm. the mermaid in Salado. Mm -hmm. Well, now we've I'm got... I'm the founder of it. The founder and, Har and Harper and Cheryl are the inspiration for it. Yeah, here we and go. And Serena the Mermaid by Troy S Kelly, yes. The, and and which Nichols. is just a, a wonderful Indian tale. Yeah. There are a couple I of different books. I launched it after my baby boy was born. Right. He's now seven, so I launched it about seven years ago. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, right, about seven years. And so you're moving down, uh, I have down joined, the highway just a little bit I have to San Marcos. Yes, I've taken my mermaid 
creativity and my mermaid team, my original mermaid team, and we are now directing the parade portion of the San Marcos Mermaid at Parade. And they, that's September 23rd, uh, they are declared by the governor of Texas uh, the mermaid capital of Texas. Okay. And, you know, they had Ocarina Springs. And oh, I remember the, the going pig as a and, little girl going oh and, my sing, gosh. and seeing the mermaids through the glass bottom boats. Right. Oh, and, yeah. and, and they're it just so. It actually was so exciting. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, that was a big It still is in my girls. mind. Oh, did you? Well, yeah. right. Well, I mean, you know, and so uh, July Holbrook is the founder over there, and she is just freaking amazing and she came to me she actually launched it uh, a year or two before I launched Serena Fest I didn't even know they were there she found me and she was like I hear you're doing mermaid things that are fantastic in Salado and uh, she's just a fireball and heart big as Texas maybe bigger than Texas with her and uh, if that's possible and um, you know she's grown so much and they have HEB big time supporting them Good. along with some others and they've got the three E's happening education environment and then extension of the arts um, and they're covering San Antonio. I mean, they're immersed, immersing in the schools and the libraries and the churches and everywhere they can. Um, and really coming out of COVID a lot more. We're, we're going to do a, a mer ball. Uh, really? Uh, masquerade ball. Not this year, but next year uh -huh. there. But this year we've got big time parade, big time festival. All the things happening all day long September 23rd there in San Marcos. And, um, you know, it's just I'm so lucky to be there. Um, and, um, yeah, it's, and Stagecoach is actually sponsoring – the San Marcos Parade, so, um, and uh, we'll have Variety Peaceful Kingdom represented there, too, and I mean, I loved, past tense, loved my time uh, in founding Serena Fest, but after I got long COVID, yeah. I needed to pass the baton. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, it's not been passed in a direction that I felt I could trust, but mm -hmm. all that said, you know, to each their own. God has a plan, and I'm so lucky to work with July and her team. And yeah. we are too. We're so excited to go down there on September 23rd. And my um, my beau, um, he lives just about 10 minutes from there, so I'm down there all the time. Oh, you're yeah, yeah. We, we 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 share property in Salado and, mm -hmm. and there, but mm -hmm. uh, um, he he lives right by Wimberley. Good. Um, and uh, he's he's our he's our um, he was our first official male mermaid ambassador. Mermaid. Um, yes, um, <laughs> Ryan Maddox is his name, and he's just so great. But then we also have Brandon Ryder, celebrity singer songwriter. Oh, I love and him. He was, yeah. And he's like a brother to uh, me, yeah. and uncle to her. He. Um, He's our second Mer ambassador. They kind of fight mm -hmm. over who was first, those boys. And <laughs> um, and so Brandon's doing a lot of work with us, yeah, too. He's, yeah. he's got those two songs that just suit our mission so well. Um, Freeze Frame Time, and then which I first heard when I was six months pregnant with this one, and then Let the Good Times Roll. And, yeah. I mean, if you listen to those lyrics, they really embody so much of what we're about. Yeah. Well, there is so much involved with mm. uh, anything that Tiffany Shriner's got her got her little. <laughs> I can't help it, in. Hey, I went in. into remission for about two years, went into hiding, <laughs> I know. and now it's like a slingshot. I can't That's help right. it. That's right. You you are back in full force, and uh, it's again, partly your fault. <laughs> well, okay, I'll <laughs> take the blame. <laughs> but the Legend of the Cosmic Cowgirl is available on Amazon Books. I mean, you can find it just about anywhere yeah and stacy bruce if they want to connect to variety peaceful kingdom she's she's the gal she's my gal over there yeah yeah so fantastic well ladies thank you so much thank you thank for you. your time and i know we're gonna come yeah. back and a portion of the book proceeds i have to say right now they're gonna it's gonna evolve but right now they're gonna go to casa oh, of good. bell county a portion oh, of the book. Good. probably good. through about um about september and then we're gonna switch over to the slato high school scholarship uh theater good. theater good. group good. yeah well, it's it's all good, and I, Harper, thank you. Thank you, and uh, Cheryl for sharing your great talents with mm -hmm. us too, and Tiffany. Thank you, appreciate. And the book's so on Amazon much. too, but come to us first before you. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Well, for, sure. <laughs> for all of us here, thank you so much for joining us today, and uh, again, check out some of the links we have in the post, so you can even see more about. Uh, the Imagineer Arts Academy and all the things that are going on through uh, Tiffany Schreiner and her wonderful friends. So, Barrow uh, Brewing is our number one friend oh, in Salado. Oh, oh yeah, Katie. Barrow Brewing and Stagecoach. Wonder, wonderful folks mm -hmm. there as well. Of course, mm -hmm. you know, Salado is my happy place. Mm. So. Rightfully. so glad to have you with us. Hope you join us again. Bye-bye. Central Texas Life with Ann Harder is part of the Rogue Media family. Be sure to check out our other shows at roguemedianetwork.com. Please rate this show five stars on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, or anywhere you get your podcasts. Join us again soon for more Central Texas Life with Ann Harder.
This has been a Rogue Media Network production.